In the moonlight, her otherworldly beauty becomes more prominent. Ah, a star has fallen from the heavens. Well, I had no idea. What was your first guess? The impossible has happened. No, it was always possible. It was only a matter of time. It was only... It was only a matter of when it would happen. But how do you know it was possible? Because someone promised me that it would. What? Someone promised her? <laughs> Did you just have a run-in with the antagonist? Who might that be, my empress? Who promised you? Someone did. Who? There's no answer to be had here. What does the star mean, then? Is it as the doomsayers speak of on the streets? Is it a herald of the end? The end is nigh! Repent! I'm afraid that the star's significance would be lost on anyone at this age. Again, she refuses to explain anything. Why did you bring us here, then? Why can't you tell anyone what the star means to you? Because they were not there. Weren't there? Weren't we? I think the answer is when. Mampress, what are you talking about? I'm afraid I cannot make you understand. Oh, for crying out loud. There is not anyone else alive who remembers him. Him? Who would she be talking about? Well, that's the point. You, <laughs> we don't know. I am the only one left. Ah, I would. I wish you could have been there too. To know the light that once shone on us. There was no need for an empress or an empire then. But look at the world we live in now. Despite how powerful she looked in the council chamber, she now looks very tired. They have believed me to have become lost. This, that is not entirely tr untrue. I have been waiting a long time for the stars to fall. Now that it has, I think I can find my way again. I see something very human in here for the first time. The Empress has made herself vulnerable just for a moment. I can tell you one thing about the star. It means change, great change. Is it for the better or worse, though? Even I can't predict the future. Well, what use are you, then? You have all this information, and you aren't willing to explain it. So, <coughs> the only thing you're good for is flaunting those breasts. And terrifying people, so I suppose that's one major thing. All I know is that is that star means change. I said that wrong. <laughs> you were there to hear my request. It all depends on those warriors now. Whoever they may be. So she wasn't asking for us indirectly? Okay. She quietly gazes out the window. Something about her just seems lonely. I would seek the star myself, but I am no fool. Oh, feck. Oh, never mind. If I were to die, what would become the capital? You have seen those men bicker among themselves. Have you ever thought of having an heir? To leave what little we have left in their hands alone, we would be undone. The people need their empress in these times more than ever. Why do you keep them there then? Why not get rid of them? I have thought about it for a long time. Perhaps when I find suitable, suitable replacements, I'll go through with it. For now, I will allow them to stay. They will not deny me this time. The Privy Council! Even though they rule the city, I am still the Empress. For a moment, she seems to look out at the city scape before her. It is late, Guardsman. Return to your barracks. I hope that we meet again sometime. I am not sure if I hope to meet her again. Something tells me I will, though. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da. Oh, we're training. I am back at the training grounds today. Do, 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 do. I am not on guard duty, thank the creator. After all that's happened in those chambers, I'll never complain about hitting wooden dummies again. In fact, it's nice to be able to hit something after listening to those councilmen for so long. Unfortunately, Kira motions for us to cease training. The first day I get back and there's already going to be interruptions. Notices, I require your attention. Fright all my sexy knighted girl.
The Empress herself has been our trading. What? Pay your utmost respect. Ardina is visit visiting us right now. Oh, she's looking for troops. No one knows her reason for visiting today, but I can take a guess. After what I saw in the council chamber, I know it would be for no reason other than recruiting. There we are. <laughs> right on the ball. Ardina looks much the same as she did when she last visited. She's wearing her motionless mask. She takes a moment to wait for the rest of the novices in the barracks to assemble themselves. My novices, my knights, I come before you with a request. Despite her lack of emotion, her words still sound inspirational. Okay. In your dreams, my girl. Not a single person looks away. They're waiting on her every word while she is the queen, empress, whatever. All of you know that a star fell from the sky a week ago. Everyone has discussed what that's what the star means. But its meaning will only become apparent when we see it for ourselves. There's going to be an expedition to reach the star. Travelling through the mires and into the desolate lands beyond. <laughs> will any of you volunteer for this? I smell death trap. It will be a <laughs> look at Kira. It will be a journey filled with peril, so I understand if you refuse. But your Empress needs brave volunteers. Will you not help her in in her time of need? Jesus. Most of the novices look away. What about Kira? I can't blame them. What she is asking for is practically suicide. Well, I've dealt with suicide missions. It's one thing to be on the walls and just defending. It's another to actually brave the wilderness to seek the fallen star. Kira also looked shocked. She wasn't expecting something like this. I'd be surprised if she did. My Empress, surely you ask too much of these novices. They are not ready for battle yet. Can you not come later? I'm afraid this cannot wait, Kira. I also refer... Reaffirm? That this is only for volunteers. I will force no one. Surely there is one among you who would... <laughs> one who would go forward to seek the star. Oh, God. Her vacant eyes survey the entire crowd before her. As I'm about to ste step forward, I feel a hand on my shoulder. Gwynny, look at her face! It's Gwyn holding me back. Oh, right. Girl, come with us. We need that booty for some inspiration. Don't go near the Myers. You won't come back alive. And before the words sounded as grave as they do now. Relenting, I step back into the crowd. Oh, well. Hunky dory. I think the Empress notices me when I do, do though. The crowd parts as she begins to walk towards me. It seems we meet again. I have an unusual feeling about you, Guardsman. Trusting my feelings has led me into prosperity in the past. So, this is what I will ask of you. Guardsman, <laughs> will you be willing to take this journey? All the other <laughs> novices gape at me in awe. The Empress herself has has requested for a lender to go on this journey? They talk among themselves excitedly. Oh god, the Empress seems to notice their chatter. I had forgotten to ask your name when I had spoken to you before. Please forgive me, Relen. Her words cause an even stronger reaction than before. Relen has spoken with the Empress before we found her kitty cat. How could that happen? Ignoring the room, room, room among us, Ardina focuses her full attention on me. Ask again, are you willing to take this journey? <laughs> Expectation weighs heavily on me right now. Everyone seems to be holding their breath. Before I can open my mouth to reply, Kira steps in. I can't let such an inexperienced combatant go into the wilds, not without someone to ensure her safety. Come with me! What you are asking of her is too much, my Empress. Come with us, Kira, come on. Then now you say, Yay! Yay! I'm happy. <laughs> it's not often I see my my instructor knocked off balance. But I have my duties here, Empress. We can get another trainer. I am not forcing you to make a decision. You may go or may stay. I know the journey will be perilous. Come on, Kira. Torn between her work and this proposal, Kira looks over to me. 
I have a duty to my novices to keep them safe, to train them to face adversity. I cannot allow Relen to go into the wilds alone. Yay! If she doesn't go, I will go with her. I will arrange for someone to take my place while I've got Oh! Someone else steps forward from the crowd. None other than Gwyn. She's stony, stone-faced, trying to hide her fear. Well, we don't get a choice. I will not let my friend go there without me. Allow me to join this expedition. It'll take a dozen scribes to fill your place, Gwyn. I'm a player with that. <laughs> it's a sacrifice they will have to make. Kira's shaking her head, but she's smiling too. It seems that you have all agreed on this. For the first time I see the Emperor smiling. You will be hearing from the castle shortly. If we're going to do this, we will need time to prepare. My Empress, can I request a month's notice before we have to leave? These novices are not ready. The smile disappears from our dear's face, but she accepts. So shall it be then. You have a month before you proceed into the wilds. Do your best to prepare. I will ensure that you will have everything you need to seek the star. Well, simply ask for it and it will be provided. Thank you, my Empress. I will do my best. Well, we better lose our virginity with these three before we go off. <laughs> we all will. Oh, free some of these girls would be a oh, force. Wait, yeah, but no, it's be a foursome. Our Dino as well, obviously. Oh, God. I believe in each and every one of you. That concludes my business here. Please continue with your training, novices. No one will think any less of you for refusing. But in the back of her mind, she's just like, thinking, sissies. Though she puts it that way, the novices still seem to be ashamed. Yet they still don't have the courage to step forward. Keep training. Do your Empress proud in your own way. As the Empress leaves, Kira looks at a loss with herself. We've just agreed to a suicidal mission. Oh, look at that face. What face? While you two are brave. Bravery alone isn't going to be enough out there. I think we'll conclude training early today. We'll talk about this later. Kira disappears back into the barracks. All the novices leave the training grounds as soon as she does. Soon? It's only me left. Had she planned for this the entire time? Did she already decide that I was going to go on this journey? Yes! I... I don't know what to think now. Have I just condemned myself to dying aimlessly in the wilderness? Yep. No, I can't think like that. I will be ready for whatever lies out there. If I remember correctly, the star landed north. <laughs> We're heading north. Right, if it's landed out there, that means I better not get ahead of myself. Oh, your hometown, or home village. I need to prepare. If that star has landed where I think it has, then I absolutely must make it there. Failure is not an option. Da 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 Return to our sleeping quarters, I find Gwyn waiting for me. In the new- ah. <laughs> for a moment, we just stand there. Taking in the gravity of what we've done. So we're going on an expedition? We're going to the Myers first hand? Do you know what this means? We're idiots. We'll get the we'll get a chance to kill some monsters? Yes, but do you know what we're going to face apart from monsters? The Myers are filled with black mud. Wait. Did she have a dream about the Myers? Oh no, she had a premonition. The kind that clings to your leg, legs and feet. That's why we were frozen and we couldn't attack. Ooh, shit. Not to mention flooding, lack of food, snaring vibes. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't want to go because I've read all about those swamps. Now that we're going to the, into them. Oh good God, why were we alone? What happened to Kira and Gwyn? What have we done? I can't help but feel afraid. I'll be fine, Gwyn. I hope so. Oh god, it's not. If that dream is if it's right. There's so much to plan for in the meantime. Food will have to be rationed too. We can only carry so much. Not to mention that there's nothing to be scavenged. Nothing can be scavenged from the forest. Surely there's something we can forage for out there. We won't really have time to forage. 
The best thing we can do is ration ourselves as we travel. <laughs> Food is definitely going to be a problem then. Yes, but there is much to consider when on a journey like this. Oh, who knows, maybe we'll find the food of those that died. Like, you know, the last squad that went up. <laughs> but we will find your own capable hands. Gwyn is used to planning, rationing and handling equipment crash. Requisitions. Her years spent as a novice at this barracks has proven invaluable. I'm so glad she chose to come with us. What of you, Gwyn? Do you think you'll be okay out there? My gift will be enough. Your far seeing will not help you in a fight, so I will protect you. Why do I need to be protected though? Can I not protect myself? I never said I said you couldn't protect yourself. And I never said that you shouldn't return the favour if I do protect you. Ooh. Oh. Oh. We're going into dangerous lands. Hmm. If we want to survive, we need to protect each other. Oh. She says that with a smile. She makes a real good point there. I guess I'm too focused on proving my own worthiness. Looking away, Gwyn seems to be lost in thought. I wish I knew why we were seeking that star. But the Empress doesn't wish to tell us. Recalling the events from the Council Chambers, I can only think that the star must mean something significant. There's a person inside it! The Empress is much older than any of us. What it means to her could be long lost to history. It must be a painful memory or something very personal. The ability to read others is unusual, Rowan. I do not remember you being so insightful with Kira. <laughs> but now that you mention it, it's fully possible. We all have our memories we do not wish to speak of. Haven't you seen that melancholy look in her eyes, though? Too, rather. It's like she's mourning. Well, once she's lost as many people as she have, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Am I the only one who's, who has noticed that? Notice me, senpai! <laughs> no, you probably haven't. I'd be surprised if you have. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yes, it does look like she's in grief. Yeah, there's a person inside that star you watch. It is the first thing I noticed about her when she visited us. Who or what is she mourning the loss of? That is what I can't work out. She's a frustrating empress to read. <laughs> Yes, but she is our frustrating empress. <laughs> Damn right. So we must do our best to make sure we find that star. If it means something to her, then it means something to the entire empire. Well, that's very optimistic, but sure, let's go with that. I remember her saying that it did matter to the, to the entire empire. What it possibly means is beyond my understanding. Did you find anything about stars in the old legends? I have not found any legends about the stars since you've asked. Oh, I'll keep looking and see if I can find anything. Well. Well. <laughs> oh my god. For now we should rest. Yes, get in my bunk. Strip naked, we'll warm each other's bodies up. What? You were thinking that? Don't lie. You should also go to see Kira. Fright her, I will do just that. I believe you owe her your thanks. That would be a good idea. Kira has been apprehensive ever since I agreed to go on this journey. Let's go cheer her up. I've still got the bucket of ice cream and strawberries. But I've got some chocolate as well. Melted chocolate. <laughs> I need to talk to her and put... Oh, the roomy flashback. Put her at ease. Oh, God, that was beautiful. Thank you, Quinn. I'll speak to her soon. Good. I need to get back to work. I need to put forward an equipment request to the Empress. We need supplies of all kind. Including replacement armour. Some monsters can destroy armour out there. Well, fant well, if they can destroy armour, then surely their claws or whatever would have gouged out our stomachs by now. Or by then. Or wherever they're hitting, so. Wrists. Breasts. <laughs> Neck. <laughs> Now that I think about it, compared to Gwyn, we hardly have any armour on. We have the best stats. Wait, did I read that? Yeah. Um, I'm sure you would rather not be <laughs> nude well in the mind. <laughs> oh, that face! Wow, 
Charlie and Evan. No, Gwenny, my girl. Oh, that, oh, that faces. With all that mud, slime, and rain. Exactly. On that note, we will need warm clothing too. I'm not sure if I could convince Kira to wear anything different, though. Oh, I wouldn't dream of asking her to wear something else. Anyway, you should really get going now. We both have things we have to do. <laughs> she wants us in the nude. She wants our booty. Green quickly disappears into the hallways of the barracks, and we want hers. I guess there's nothing to do but talk to Kira. Okay. Da 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 da. -da. Well, here I am before Queer Kira's quarters again. I'm hesitant to open it, as I know what happened last time. Ah. Uh -huh. It would be bad to knock this time. As I knock the door, there's no response. Is she even in here? <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. <sighs> I mean, I don't know if this affects anything. That's the thing. I mean, when I think something... <laughs> what is that doing back? Uh, we could wait. Um. Um. I don't know. Um. Okay, let's wait a moment. I decide to wait for a moment or two. Seeing if she responds. She doesn't. Oh. I decide to open the door. Okay then. Are you kidding me? Are you in here, kid? Oh wow. Wow. Oh no, not again. Don't tell me that I did it again. Oh, the holy light of Jesus is is <laughs> protecting her. Yep, I did it. Kira's once again in a state of undress. It's just like before, except that she's wearing even less than she was before. No top, no bottom, yet for whatever reason, she has her shoulder pads on. And a cloak of all things. Though this time she has her back to me, so she doesn't have to cover anything with her hands. She doesn't seem to be angry this time either. She looks more lost in thought than anything. I don't think she's even noticed I'm here yet. Kira? Hello? I seem to be caught in pair this time. At least I learned something from last time. Being able to actually speak is going to help me a lot. Ask her if she has a moment to speak. Do you have a moment to speak, Kira? She hardly turns her head back to me. Look back at me. Head back to look at me while I'm standing in the doorway. Well then? Why are you here? She turns to face me, leaving her chest completely exposed. Not to us! <laughs> I can already feel a burning sensation in my cheeks. Gwyn told me that I should speak with you. I wonder if Gwyn is doing this on purpose now. She sent me at just the wrong moment last time too. Oh yeah. I see. Yes, you should speak with me. Okay. Maybe not right now, though. You can see that I am busy. Why did you remove your armor? I was just remembering something. Naked? Remembering something? She's doing that by removing her armor? What exactly could she be remembering? Removing it reminds me of the time where I was very vulnerable and afraid. It almost feels like yesterday. Looking away from me, she seems to examine her body. She runs her hands down her body, feeling her skin. I can wear this lace to cover up the scars, but I never but I know that it's underneath the You have scars? I can't ever get away from them. They'll always serve as a reminder of those times. Scars? But the lace doesn't exactly leave much to the amount. Yeah, exactly. Even on the front. Unless. I can't see any scars from where I'm standing. 
Is it going that way? Perhaps she's the only one who can't see those scars. Probably in a figurative sense, yeah. My mind was just like, yeah. That would make a lot of sense. But why is she react isn't she reacting like she did last time? Whatever she's daydreaming about, it must matter more to her than having her privacy invaded. So, didn't you learn anything from the last time this happened? We knocked. I waited. You never called. You are aware of how hang angry I was, right? I was sure you want to tempt my wrath right now. I might just have to push the boulder from now until dawn. Have make you rather. Despite what she's talking about, there's no real threat behind her words. <clears throat> it's like she's just idly musing to herself. She barely recognises that I'm here at all. Whatever her mind is at the moment, it's not here right and now. Why won't you respect my privacy, Willen? You're making a habit of entering my private quarters before you check it if it's okay. It's only a small effort to knock to see if I'm ready to talk to you or not. Her tongue suggests complete apathy, though. She definitely couldn't be bothered issuing any punishment right now. Whatever she's thinking of, it's obvious that it's something very important to her. I'm not going to be able to speak with her as she is right now. I'm going to have to wait until she's done musing. Even if you aren't far-seeing, you seem to like watching people during private moments. Could you please knock on the door first before you come barging in here? But we did though! We even waited! It would allow me a moment to prepare myself. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean to do this. Oh for God's sake, have some backbone, Relen. Ignorance isn't a justification, Relen. This has happened before and you were plainly told that you should make sure that I'm not busy before you step inside my quarters. Yes, I'm sorry, punch me later if you have to. Just when you're done here, can we talk? Yes, that should be no problem. I was going to speak to you soon anyway. There are things about the Myers you should know before you decide to go there. I'll take I'll I'll talk to you in a minute, Relen. Could could you just give me a moment to get dressed? Please, I just need a minute or two. Okay. Well, I know better than to linger longer than I should in this situation. I slowly close the door, just like last time, leaving Kira to her own thoughts. A lot, a lot, a lot. 